travel shortcuts. You know who I am. Right now, I'm in Taganga in Santa Marta. Um, I'm currently escaping from the Medellin quarantine um, curfew rigorous regiments. Um, here it's kind of more laid back and tranquility is in the air for sure. So these are my five things that you must do in Medellin if you are traveling post curfews, during the curfews. Would you rather? <laughs> So, number one, you have to hit up La Satente in La Reyes Estadio. Amazing place. It's pretty much just a long street with just bars, restaurants, and it's very vibrant, you know, coffee shops, you know, abundance of, of places, you know, casinos, little mini casino places, food stores from all over the world, you know, you can't go wrong with that place. It literally reminds me of Thailand, kind of the Thailand street markets, you know, because it's just a long ass street with just nothing but bars, restaurants, um, um, coffee shops, uh, and different various establishments that I'm sure one will cater towards your um, individual need. So, number one, you have to definitely hit up La Satente in La Reyes Estadio for sure. Number two, you have to definitely hit up El Centro. I mean, you can't come to Medellin and not visit El Centro. Uh, pretty much the center hub, the center market um, uh, district where you pretty much got all the shops, you know, all the clothing, all the, all, and there's some great markets as well, food markets at a very cheap, affordable place. This is basically where all the locals go to shop, El Centro, you know, you can get anything, you know genuine things, um, counterfeited things, you know, anything, at all for a relatively decent price, you know, great salons, you know, great um, tattoo parlors, you know, great coffee shops, you know, great restaurants, and one or two bars, and again, these are all things that you can do before the 8pm or 6pm, whatever, the time curfew, because these places are still open, However, they are exercising social distancing to an extent and they do finish a bit early because of obviously the curfew that are going on, that are going on progressively. So number two, El Centro, you can't go wrong with it, mate. So the third thing to do in Medellin um, while you're there, definitely you need to hit up Paquieras. I know it's got a notorious name and reputation, um, however, it's not all seedy it's not all gloomy you know um there, there's hope at the end of that tunnel you know there's still great bars still great um still great restaurants there really really nice um, restaurants you know and again it's a huge space you know with an abundance of uh, of options and there's some great local people there's some great um foreigners that i've met there you know fellow travelers and also expats that hang around there and I'm sure they'll welcome you and give you some great tips on how to survive um, the managing hype, <laughs> so to speak. So definitely here at Paquieras. And the great thing with Paquieras is, even though Paquieras is my third choice, honorable mentions to Provinza. Because further up from Paquieras, you got more of a local scene, it's more higher end, as we say in Portuguese, it's much more phenol and um, over there it hasn't got as much bars and, and etc but it's kind of like it's more more sophisticated it's more elegant scene and it's really nice if, especially if you just kind of more for families or like a couple if you're with a couple and you just want kind of a nice chilled out Colombian experience then you can go further up and hit up Provenza uh, just further up from Paquieta for sure so number four, fourth place and things to do in, in Medellin post curfew, during the curfew, is you need to go to Evigado. <laughs> Don't fight 
right no more Just before we get a plate to stand I mean literally when you when I went there I thought I was in bloody Spain I thought I was back in Europe like honestly it's so well polished um, so sophisticated uh, really 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 um, tranquility like uh, it just looms everywhere in the air you know very polite people you know and it's more of the higher end uh, up, I guess upper middle class society in Colombia that usually frequent that that scene can get a bit pricey they've got a great shopping mall that's still open around there and yeah definitely and in Envigado you got Sabaneta and Sabaneta they used to have like a light festival um, candle festival sorry and also you have um, tons and tons of great markets you know food market fruit halls uh, you can get pretty much anything you want really and it's just a great time again to go out if you can go by yourself you can go with a couple if you're with your girl um, or, your, or your or your fella you can go with the family you know great place to visit and get lost in there you know and goes out to my solo travelers that are a bit hesitant to travel while being alone you can definitely go there and have a great time for sure my fifth choice is definitely and last will definitely be communal 13. communal 13 has a bad reputation because obviously uh during the guerrilla movement um they had a tons and tons of kind of like gang warships and all that you know uh, mafia related incidents and that you know that um, unfortunately um, um, led to a lot of um, civilian casualties you know as well as obviously gang affiliated um, murders and hits and etc however that's all revamped you know that's all eradicated to an extent you're not going to see all of that right now it's more of a tourist tour, uh, tourist attraction you know you can go out there by yourself friends family there's a lot of tour guides there speak english some speak english some don't speak english you know there's abundance of options over there and you could just hang out you don't even have to pay a tour guide you can do it all yourself and just go on the wikipedia and learn about the history while you're walking around or you can um, just get lost in the mix you know friendly staff staff members there in terms of the tour the, 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 the tour guides or just locals that just want to say hello you know give you great coffee you know show you a great experience talk to you you know be willing to let you in their homes you know show you around you know probably the friendliest people i've met in in medicine um is in i found in uh, communal 13 i'm still in contact with them you know so definitely hit up communal 13 and you know you didn't hear it from me but the party never stops over there yes colombia have a curfew and a quarantine but when you're in community 13 or one of you're in one of them barrios like the barrio papala also you don't even feel like there's a restriction or a lockdown. You didn't hear it from me, so definitely hear up Communal 13 for sure. And they're my top five, but I will say something that went particularly, it wasn't initially on my list, but I will say something, and that's you really need to hear up the hostels. If you, because if you're just like, especially for if you're a solo traveler, and you know, it can be a bit daunting at times when you go out, you have a great mingle, and all of a sudden, the quarantine, the time it looms, and then like, oh, you know, shop the, the at five or six or whatever it is, the the, the restaurants, the bars, you know, the every, the shops they start to close, and you're like, oh, I don't want to go home. Hostels never really stops, you know, and it's a great experience to meet fellow travelers from all over the world, and also at the same time meet Colombians from all over the world because Colombians are also traveling. So you even find people from from all sorts from bloody Bogota, from Cartagena, from Barranquilla, from Cali, you know, from San Andreas, everywhere. I've met so many people, so many Colombians, as well as uh, foreigners from all over the world, you know, in hostels. And again, party never stops. Uh, music goes on to God knows what time it is. Restaurants and uh, kitchens are normally still open at that, at that establishment late hours. So definitely, if you feel a bit lonely, and if you want some company and also you want the party to to continue on for a little bit longer definitely try and hear up a hostel you know especially the ones in Parque Pablado, Parque Lleras, and in El Centro pretty much you can't go wrong with a hostel just go on booking.com 
and read the reviews and then decide on which one you want to uh, explore so yeah travel shortcuts live to live not live to survive that's my top five things to do during the curfew in Medellin, Colombia. Peace. I mean, I wanted to do this uh, top five because a lot of people hit me up and they were like, oh, you know, are things still open and, uh, and uh, of course they're open things are still open and there's a lot of things that are still open behind the scenes if you know what I mean and if you can catch on so again if you need extra questions or you're a bit you're still undecisive or you know you have something like a, a tingle in your brain and you're not sure how to scratch it hit me up on Instagram so it's at quote underscore travel shortcuts and then I'll be sure to try and help you in any way. Or hit up my Facebook group. Link is in the description. Again, travel safe. We're in a pandemic. Um, of course, you know, travel sensibly. You know, be vigilant, be cautious. But at the same time, we're here to not tell you to waste your life or, you know, or live depressingly or anything like that. You know, yeah, travel, explore, you know, you know. Like as in Spain they say aprovecha, you know, take advantage of life, live to live, not live to survive, but do it sensibly of course. Oi oi, travel shortcuts. Mama, yo. Papa, yo. Oi, turn around. Yeah man, I'm talking to you man, next guy. Come on man, how are you going to watch the video without bloody saying anything? If you know if you know something to do or you can help others in terms of something that's happening or is still open around Medellin that's worth seeing or visiting, comment down below man. Help your people out man. Stop being selfish. Next guy. Sister,